Well, hello. We have got a brand new one day special at what a one day special it is. Shall we say hello to John Lugwood, who is ready to do some demonstrations in the other side of the studio. Hello, John. Hello, Auntie Paula. Or, <laughs> hola, chica. Hola, chico. And now, bien. Muy bien, eh? Now, of course, we are going to do the show in English, don't you worry. And, uh, but what we have got here is two options for the one-day special. We have got the first option is the squared ones, and then the second option is the circles. But let's have a look at what you are getting, whichever uh, one-day special you are getting. You are getting three amazing dies. Now, if you are one of those ones that likes to invest in dies that have multiple of uses, this is the one day special for you. Now, I'm going to just show you quickly the, uh, ooh, the circles here. We, I think the heat has got to them. Uh, there you can see how gorgeous they are. Now, think about, we have got so many samples to show you, but you can see the die cut, how the three dies will cut individually, but then how you can layer them together. Remember, this is the circles, and then the second option is, or the first option, depending how you look at it, is the squares. Now, they, what they mean is that you can layer them together. You can use them individually. You can layer them in different ways. Look at the paper piercing in here as well. So imagine to draw through them, but look at what you can create. I think this is very reminiscent of very posh, uh, high-end, uh, you know, brand. And this is what you can create with those. I love the way that you can create quickly and easily backgrounds in there. A look at that. Also, I'm thinking masculine cards. They are already, you know, this is phenomenal in here. And look at that. Now this, I love that because it shows you that, of course, you have got all these squares, but you can hide away some, uh, of course, the, the toppers. Now, remember that you have got three dies in, your, in the square one option and three dies on the circle option. Now, whichever option you go for, £34.97 is your price, making a saving of £7. 851468, and then it's your choice circles or squares. However, if you want, like I do, everything, you want a complete collection, we have got that option as well for you. And it's even better because you have got an additional saving of £10. You're going to get three, the three of the squares and the three of the layering, multi-layering circles there. Now, that means that it's a price of £59.99, uh, I think it is. But oh, if you are a Freedom member, you have got a further saving. Remember that those individual savings are carried forward. So that saving of Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is actually um, on. You know, it doesn't account for the the, the one-day special saving. Fifty-three pounds and ninety-five pence is all you're paying if you are a Freedom member. Now, if you want to spread the cost, you have got that option as well. Two interest-free payments of twenty-six pounds and ninety-eight pence. That's all you're paying today, and then you pay this full the next month twenty-six pounds and ninety-eight pence. Remember that saving of fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence plus the additional savings from the individual individual ODSs are included in that price. Two four one six six four is the item number. Now, John. Can you tell us a little bit more about the concept behind this one-day special? Yeah, certainly can do. We launched uh, multi-layer dies with press cut about, oh, I think it was nearly a year ago now, and there were some, some designs and some proprietary designs that we'd, we'd got from the manufacturers. And I said there were, I thought to me there were gaps missing, yeah. and I wanted some basics. So what we did is, I've actually, I actually drew these. So I've actually drawn these um, specifically to sort of go into there. So what you've got is, if we go through the squares here, what you're actually seeing is, you've got layer A. It's yep. a simple day die that cuts you out these yep. row of the squares. Then you've got layer B. So you've got layer B, and what that's got is a smaller square oh. in it, but I've also added all this stitch detail yeah. in here, so that you've got a stitch detail, so you can use it on its own. But if I stitch it round, you've got layer C which gives you a smaller square again going in, but again gives you a double layer of the stitch detail through. Wow. And actually gives you more stitch lines. So if I actually show you this way, there is layer C. So you've got there all the squares with wow. the stitch detail. Have the I idea is then you can layer layer B over the top and get it in the right order. Wow. Then you can layer A over the top again. And I'll be showing you in different colours. 
but it gives you a completely different look with the three layered as opposed to that. I mean, I think you've got the coloured samples, haven't you, Yeah, Paola? I so do. You I can have, show the colours a little bit better than I can. I can show you exactly how it looks in here. Now, you can see how uh, you will be using and something like that, gorgeous with the squares, of course, uh, in there as well. And then another sample, just to show you the versatility of these dyes. Now, the versatility of mixing and matching them. Now, if you want to go for the one-day special, of course you can, but if I would recommend to go for the complete collection because that way you have got all six sides that coordinate perfectly as well. Now, also, uh, if you flexi buy it, now the complete collection, one payment is cheaper than the co that if you were going for the one you know, one day special on its own. Now, there you have it, the Flexi Freedom of the uh, complete collection is basically two payments of 26 pounds and 98 pence. So you pay 26 pounds and 98 pence and you get them, all six of them and you can mix them and matching them. They are absolutely phenomenal. And I love how you can also use the, of course, the leftovers of the circles. Right, so we are gonna be showing as well what else is, ah, by the way, we have to mention, it is brand new today as well. It is, yeah, it, it, these are brand new, this is the launch. We've not launched these anywhere else. This is the first time that anyone's actually seen these dies. And um, it's the first time that we actually launched them anywhere and I just can't wait to play with them. It is, I, I have to say, I am jealous of you because it's like, it's one of those collections that you want to play with. If you want to play with them at home, the number you need is 241664 is your item number. Over 10% of the complete collection has already gone. Why not check out your baskets for yours? Now we have got inks as well from Isaacs. Now, these are, I know John is a massive advocate of them, but not only John, but also our Leone. She has been using as well some of those ones. And John, can you tell us what it makes them so special? What's, what's so special and different to me on these, and I've always said this before, I'm not an ink spray person, or I wasn't before I got these, because they drip, they're messy, they clog, they take hours to dry, the colours are insipid. With these, I'm going to bring mine in, so just excuse yeah. me from leeching off. The difference with the eyes ink sprays is these are in non-clog bottles, which means that if you continue to spray uh -huh. yeah. and you continue to spray, they will continue going. Yeah? Absolutely. If you sit them and leave them for a year and come back to them, they will spray. They will Amazing. work. And I, I was saying to Paula and, and um, Kim, the producer, earlier, um, when I was, you, you know, when I had to use sprays or use them in the past, I would never have brought to the show my collection that I've had for nearly 18 months. Wow. I'm not going to pretend. Yeah. Yeah. You would bring new bottles because mm -hmm. you know the chances are half of them wouldn't spray. Yeah. We've all had that. Whereas with these, I know that I can just literally grab one of these that I haven't used. These have been sat in my car for two days just to make yeah. sure they're all, you know, completely safe Absolutely. and everything. Yeah. That shouldn't look at happen. That. Gorgeous. But the other thing is, if you look at that, you can see the intensity of colour yes. just from three little sprays. Yeah. But this is onto watercolour card. Which is very absorbent. Extremely, but these are fast drying. Okay. So this is dry. Wow. That's dry. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's completely dry, 100%. And if you look at the back... It's not buckled. It's not buckled and it's completely white. Because what happens, because they've got something in them and Isaac will not tell us what it is... Yeah. Um, instead of them drying into the card, things dry, as you know, Paola, yeah. by soaking in, yeah. certainly to watercolour card, of and this course. is 300 GSM yeah. good stuff. They don't. They dry out on the surface, so they evaporate. Oh. So they don't warp your card at all, and, of course, they build up. And, like, if I go with... I'm going to go with one of my favourites. And, the by gold. the way, of course, there is now, in the screen, the pick and mix option. So you choose whichever five colours are your favourite. And, of course, it's your collection of colours. And it, they are beautiful. £19.95 is your price. So what uh, we've done is, this is, again, this is the Mica one. So this is one yeah. of the gold finishing sprays you're oh going to yeah, move on to. Oh, yeah, which we have got also but in the show. you normally, you see people going like yeah. this mm -hmm. and rolling them. Yeah. And, oh, I'm sorry, life's too short. <laughs> because it's non-clog, give it a shake. But if you look... <gasps> oh, they are beautiful. But I don't even... That, those bits there are almost dry. But yeah. I've got all that sheen and shine sitting over the top. And I just absolutely love them. I mean, if you were actually on my, my Crafting with John Next Door and Crafts 2 group, you'd have seen I did a video on Wednesday night where I actually poured ink out of these 
and painted with them. Yeah. The colour is that intense. And of course, if you want to go for the icing, the, the finishing set of a sprays, uh, we will look <coughs> at them in a second. But at the minute, you have got the pick and mix, which are the vibrant colours, the beautiful uh, dye base. Of course, that dye being intense in colour and delivering that non-clogging technology that they have got. So you don't never have to kind of go in and worry about it. £19.95 is the price for your choice of five out of 15 colors. You curate your own collection, 786-369. Now, John was using, of course, the gold of the finishing sprays. Again, non-clogging, and it has got that metallic nature into here. It's just, they are absolutely stunning colors. And so there you are gonna get all three of them, but you have got the most amazing gorgeous can you see it here in this sample that now this one it just shows how beautiful those gold metal effects are going to be imagine mixing them up with the gold and the silver pearl also included in this bundle 14 pounds and 99 pence is the price for them and of course 438858 uh, eight are your item numbers different ways like let's have a couple of left legs and oh the metallic i love it and then I'm going to put that. I'm not sure if that, that one is the one that has got a silver pearl in there. And then, I don't know. So this you use a texture paste and then a spray over the top. That was actually, I used ice ink ice over that. Ah, and okay, then I so sprayed over the top ah, to give me, so I used a, the white ice ink ice to give me the neutral look then spray over the top while the stencil's still in place. Ah, and it even sticks yeah. to the ice. Yeah. So it that. sticks to that because it sticks to near most surfaces. Yeah. And of course, that way I can get a raised look without having to start to, to buy really expensive texture paste. That makes, that, that's fabulous. That, that's genius as well. Uh, 438 858 is your item number. And remember that everything I think kind of works together as well. But shall we have a look at the one day special, a demonstration by John? OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually start with the circles. I was going to do the squares, but I'm going to do the circles to start with. But this is really, really simple. Now, what we've done in these, if anyone had the previous set of multi-layers that we did, these have been sized exactly to match. So this time, so that we get them to everyone at the best price, we haven't done a separate outside line. Because if you bought the last sets, you'll have got six or nine of those outside, li outside lines. Plus... These were sized exactly to match with the press cut multi-layered nesting dies that we did a few weeks ago, which should have been on this show with them. Unfortunately, they, we sold out about two years worth of stock. They wow. absolutely flew, so all the plans had to change. But mm -hmm. what I've done to make this easy is, and I, this is the way I tend to do this, I've cut these to five and three quarters. Okay. And yep. one of the reasons I've used five and three quarters is because you can get two five and three quarters squares from an A4 piece. Oh, smart. So you're not wasting. Yeah. And all I do is literally tape down the die, really, really simple. So we'll just put that down. And what I've done is I've chosen four colours of the linen card, and I'm going to go down in shade. So I've gone down, I've gone from ultramarine to mid blue to soft blue to mouse grey. So what I'm going to do is I take, first of all, layer A, and make sure then you get layer B. You can, if you want to, mark them, but it's got the next size down. But it's easy to, way to remember. The B layer has one layer of stitching. A layer has none, and C layer has two. So it's an easy way to remember it. And all I'm going to do is just pop that down and tape it down. So really simple. And all I'm going to do then again is take the next layer which is the C layer and has two layers of stitching. And the stitching is there so that if you use that on its own, you've got a beautiful background piece. To me, it's no good having a die and thinking, I've got to use that with all of the layers. And you know, the background one almost being ugly. And it takes ink extremely well. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna run through and I'm going to cut now, two together. Yep. Yeah. Now, the question I have is, what sort of machine, the width of the machine we need for this They size? will all fit within your standard machines, A5 and above. Yep. So they'll go in your cuttle bug, they'll Perfect. go in your uh, big shot, they yeah. will go in any of your standard A5 machines. Um, so you don't have to have the big machines for these, which I think is really good, because to me, these are a basic die. Yeah. These uh, are ones I'm going to use constantly. 
Yeah, right. I, I think that everybody can see the amazing versatility of these dyes. The amazing, you know, it's one of those, like John was saying, it's one of those ones we are missing in our stash. Now, if you want yours, be quick to check out those baskets because we are already 20% of the full collection already has gone. And remember, the one day special should last 24 hours, but many times that sell out before the end of those 24 hours. So grab yours now by checking those baskets. You know that you have got that say amazing saving as well there and oh, it can be yours I love them absolutely love them I, I adore these I really really do one of the reasons I wanted to cut them was I wanted to show you first of all yes we get the beautiful aperture and again I'd use that on its own yeah yeah we get but if you see with the next layer down we've got that beautiful really oh, clear oh, stitch yeah. line yeah. rather than it being a deboss line yeah. I put into this to be a cut line so it goes all the way through. Yep. So that way you get a really crisp look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it goes all the way through. But the reason I wanted to cut it is don't forget the circles. Yeah. Because these are perfect circles. Yeah. So these are, you don't bin these, you save them. And again, they've all been done because you know me and my maths, Paola. Yes, I do. I've never I been know. strong at it, but I've got a real thing about making sure things are mathematically correct. Yeah. Each circle down, the next size yeah. down, is five mil smaller than the one that precedes it. Wow. So that, so that, if we say that is 15, that's 10, that's five. And the idea is that you can get all of these just from two layers and you can make lots of little spots and targets. Oh, and of course, I love they're like little planets. I mean, I've got yeah. a demo later, I'm just going to... And if I, I just where love I put the it. bubbles, kind of as well. If you are into mermaids or you know yeah. seas, seas so as well under the sea, then you can have them like bubbles coming well, out. You can as stick well. those on like that. So you can, if you can see this on the overhead, if I just throw a few more on randomly, yeah, yeah. But you yeah. can actually <gasps> put that over the top. Oh yeah. You can foam mount that over yeah. the top. You can, of course, use all of those as a shaker card. Yeah. In the larger one. Absolutely. And again. It just, I, I just think there's so much versatility in what you think is just a die of circles. It, it, but it's so much more. And actually, can I ask you, what card are you using? This is all using the Crafts 2 Linen card that you've got on the pick and mix. Oh, I was and hoping you would say that. I, I, what I've done is I've put that on specifically. I, I actually had to really, I had to beg um, Crafts 2 and our suppliers to put this on um, because people have been asking me all the time, can we have those beautiful pinks you use, John. Can we have those lovely blues? So we've given people an option of all of the 12 yeah. of my most popular colours and that work in this. So I think we've done it, is it four packs? It is four packs. So at home they can choose any four and you're getting 10 sheets of each. Uh, or it could be if you wanted four of the same ones, if you wanted you four of pink ones, you can but do that. The idea is that what I did was I put them in so that in that set there are four fours that work perfectly oh. with the multi layers. So you could go a monochromatic yeah. and you could go maybe for the two pinks and two purples, or you could go for the grey and the blues, or you could do the grey, the purples, maybe and a white. There's so many options, the warmer tones, the kind of fresh, zesty yellows and warm, passionate red. Uh, it's absolutely yeah, but it is. The, it the, is. That orange, that ochre colour runs perfectly into that red. Yeah. That light yellow runs perfectly into it. And bizarrely as it sounds, the white is beautiful with those yellows and into the red. Y you know, uh, you are absolutely yeah. right. I mean, my favourite, I'm going to, on here, um, my favourite on all of those, to be yeah. honest, is the mouse grey. Ooh. We were talking about this yeah. because if we put it between the blues and the, the purples, yeah, you can because see. if you put it with lilac, it looks lilac. If yeah. you put it with blue, it looks grey. So it's like magic card. If I put it like this, you can see how across it, it's just be it's beautiful. Even with the red, looks amazing. Even with the yellow, it's one of those ones that choose your th three colours and then add the grey. Yeah, yeah, it is basically choose your three and add the grey without a doubt. <laughs> so what I've got here is, I've got the mouse grey yeah. card to start with. Then I've gone with the soft blue, and this is layer C. Yeah. Now, what you need to watch is. I'm going to just put this layer on because it doesn't matter with the first layer, but what you've got is you've got one, two, three, four, five this way, and you've got one, two, three, four, five this way. But if you look, this side you have got large, large, large. Yeah. So this side I call the five side because you go large, medium, small, medium, large. 
yeah? Of course, yeah. That's what we're matching up. But the stitch circles will help you. Okay. So I'm just going to take, I'll only put two pieces of tape on this. So this is layer B. Yeah, can I say also something that I just spotted now? I love that the, the spacing, uh, spacing between them is nice and big enough for a foam tape. Yes. It's yeah. just because otherwise it's just like kind of, oh, what if it was too close together? Y you can tell when I've designed something because I've designed it with the lazy me in mind. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want, cutting down foam tape is just, I'm sorry, life is far too short. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here is I want to match one, two, three, four, five, small to large against yeah. that one. But if you see there, oh. it's perfect. I, I yeah? just love it. If I rotate it that way, it won't fit, but it will give you a different look. Oh, yeah. So if you see if I rotate it that way, there'll still be a circle in the middle, but it won't be the same size. Yeah? Yeah. And the same that way, it will give you a different look. Because they're hand-drawn, there's one way it works, and you can see that. So I hover over and put that down. Mm -hmm. So I'm already getting that depth. I then go on with the darkest colour, which is the ultramarine. And again, I made sure there was just enough room if you cut these to <laughs> yeah. five and three quarters. Yeah. Uh, so that the foam tape fits. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I've cut it in the wrong place, sometimes it overlaps a little bit, but you can always push it in. But yeah. The idea was that it didn't. Because yeah. I don't want to waste an A4 sheet just to make one of these. I want to make two out of an A4 sheet. Yeah, I think that, that is, is, is that precision, <laughs> that accuracy that you kind of, and versatility that you always deliver. And I, can I say that you never bring something that is redundant. You always bring something that adds something to your collection. I, thank you. I always try because I think I'm a crafter. Yeah. The same as you are. Yeah. And it is our hobby. It started out as our hobby. And so we know that things cost. And we know that yeah. things, to me, any die I get, any stamp, any card, anything, has to earn its place in my stash. Yeah. It has to prove to me, I have a simple rule, can I do three things with it? Yeah. If I can do three things with it, then it's, it's earned its place. Yeah. If it's just going to give me one basic thing, it's got to either be, the basic thing has to be beautiful, or it has to be cheap, <laughs> to be quite honest. Yeah. So we just pop that on a simple six and a half inch card blank, and that's it. Oh, Done. I love that. And you could do that the same with the square one as well. So, but I love that. A sentiment, that's all it needs. Yeah, it, that's literally a sentiment on there, and it's sorted. <gasps> and it, it's just something that you can make, and we've made this. I mean, what, we're, we're sort of 20 minutes into the show. Yeah. So apart from the card blank being cut yeah. and having the squares cut, which, let's face it, would take us two minutes, yeah. this card's been made in 20 minutes while now, talking. And also, I'm thinking, am I right to think that those smaller dots would be perfect for, um, you know, pearls or crystals to position as well? They are sized. The smallest ones are all sized to match with standard crystal and pearl sizes that wow. we do. So they always come in two, three, five, I think it is, yeah. something like that. But they all work perfectly. I love, and I also love, uh, we have got some samples here that you can see how white on white is elegant as well. A smaller in size, trim them a little bit smaller should you wish to do that. Also, maybe you, th you like super sizes, you like to make them a little bit bigger. Why not bring your pattern papers and see those placements perfectly in there? Now, there is other ways that you can use. Of course, if you go for the complete collection, remember that you are getting the squares as well. A little bit something retro something a little bit different but it's not just a squares within a squares you can expand it I think this is a uh, seven by nine card and you can see the size of it it is a substantial size card and look how it has been expanded creating that check background on the Father's Day is coming and what you know and it's, it's one of those ones that I always think uh, squares and circles and anything geometric is a good investment because it's an investment into making sure that you have got the grid so you stamp and then die cut and then you use it as a positioning as well you can That's use it Ooh, 
Ooh. You have all the free cards you just shown yeah. are all cards from the VTs tomorrow. So, you know what you need to do. Remember, tomorrow the one-day special is at 8 a.m., 12 p.m., and, of course, 4 p.m. So do please check them out to make sure that you do not miss out on any demos. And if you cannot watch on, on, and directly on, on time, you can always watch back on Rewind on the website. But remember, the one-day special, you have got two options. The first option is the squares. Brand new dies that they are multi-layer. Three dies that perfectly match each other that you can use on their own. Look at the positioning of those beautiful flowers. Monochromatic, fabulous. That stage detail there in the two outer layers or in the layers rather. Then you have got the circle option. Again the same principle of cutting apertures and then of course you have got those two dies with the stage detail and of course you have got the one without it with this brother one look at that you know that retro funky look but then at the same time you can do super classy uh, cards as well now if you want to go for just these circles for instance you have got that option 34 pounds and 97 pence having a seven pound saving if you wanted to go for the squares of course you can it's exactly the same item number eight five one four six eight now if you wanted to go for both of them now remember that it's a seven pound saving isn't it in each of the one day special remember those seven pounds so it's 14 pounds and then you have got an additional a uh, 10 pound 10 pounds uh, saving now then it means that you have got that amazing price but if you're a freedom member it has got an additional saving uh, 15 pounds and 99 pence plus those 14 pounds that we mentioned before it so that it means it a 30 pounds I think it is in savings and uh, now don't put me on savings I'm really bad uh, but there it is confirmation uh, now uh, and then of course you can spread the cost in two payments of 20 26 pounds and 98 pence uh, yes it is exactly 30 pounds uh, now I'm sorry I'm just kind of I'm doubting my producer I should oh that's a surprise that's actually a made one. by June Smith and she's made the phone box with them and she's made the box for it. Yeah, isn't that well, amazing? This is the dice. Now, this, imagine this. Oh, okay. So we need to see that again, right? Because we, uh, my producer was saying, our producer came and was like, oh, I love that box. I love the, you know, and our director said, oh, this looks like a cabin for, uh, you know, that, that nymph, well, the TARDIS. Uh, <laughs> but in gold, of course, other, other spaceships are available. Uh, right, but then you open it up and it's a proper surprise. Look at that. It's absolutely fabulous. It is amazing. And this is, this is what these dies do. It's always dies that are not just what they you see, but what you can do with them. And if you want to have a little bit of that magic dies, uh, then why not check out the baskets for the complete collection? A quarter of the stock of the that should last 24 hours has already gone. Check out your baskets for that. Remember, 59 pounds and 94 pence is what you are paying for all six dies, and you have got that amazing saving carrying forward those individual savings from the one day special 53 pounds and 95 pence is all you are paying if you are a freedom member right i know you what you want to see is the man the man john lawwood there <laughs> the man the legend Ooh, john lawwood I, i'm not sure about legend oh, uh, talking of legends, i have to say thank you to june smith for the box when we get the samples back in from the angels because i say the girls that help me i call them my angels because yeah. they are they they save my life time and time again with the beautiful samples they make so i have to say thank you to june maxine roshan emma julie sheila um, and uh, Babs, there's, there's so many people who help me, but every time a, a delivery comes in, Sam will go, is June's box in there? Because she does a different type ah. of twist on a box every time. So you've created a legend for yourself now, yeah. June. Yeah. Can't wait to see what you come up with with Christmas. Yeah. So what we're going to do, I'm going to use the level A, and I'm going to show you how we extend them, because both of these sets were designed so that you could extend them. And again, in one of the videos that we've got, which will all be loaded on YouTube by 6 o'clock tomorrow night, so you can watch them at any time. There's five videos being filmed. But they're all designed so that you can actually repeat them. And in one of them, I do this, and I repeat this die all over an A4 sheet and have an entire A4 of this. 
because it's the right the same way. So all we do to start with is I want to make a long panel, so I'm going to actually put the die right at the top of the card, and again, I've cut this, this is a Crafts 2 linen card, this is the white, okay. and I've cut it down into an A5 piece, again, so that I get two yeah. from each thing. You could do it across a piece of card, but to be honest, why do that when you can cut it in half and get two cards out of it? So we just run that through as normal, so we let that run, and I've already cut, I've already repeated the, yeah. the layer C. Ah. So I'm just going to stick layer C down while we're waiting for that to cut. So you already see there, I mean, that would work as a background as it stands. You've got that beautiful stitch detail all the way around, which you can pick out again. And the stitch detail yeah. is a cut, so it will show. It's not just a deboss line. But to repeat it, all we do, take out your piece, yeah. see how well each cuts, save your squares, you will use them. You will genuinely yeah. use them for mm -hmm. things. Yeah. And it's don't, don't waste the card. And all we do is take the die, take the tape off, and we slide it until it fits in. Ah, and it will yeah, it fit locks. in, yeah. and it gets locked. Yeah. So don't try and turn the die over and start trying to put it in. Always, when you're repeating a die, put the card down, take your die to it, and push it until it's sealed. And then what you need to do is make sure that you tape it at the top corners where it's linked in and at the bottom. You will thank yourself. I know you'll feel like you're wasting tape, but this is reusable. But you'll thank yourself, because if you don't tape it in the four places, it can move and slide on your plate. And all we do then is just put it on a plate and run that back through. Okay. And again, you can do that top to bottom or... You can do it side to side, so you could do an entire A4 sheet, or if, you, if you're lucky enough to have one of the very rare um, 12 by 12 machines, you could yeah. do it on a 12 by 12 sheet. Absolutely. But I've done it again here with the second layer. But if you see through this, yeah. hopefully you can see to line the squares up, because I thought people might struggle a little yeah. bit, the second layer of stitching is where this one goes. <gasps> Yep. So you can marry it to the stitching, so you don't have to trust your eyes. Yeah. And you'll still see one stitch yep. through. Yep. But that makes it really, really easy. And again, if you think about it, for the top layer, so I'll peel this off. So if I peel this one off, you can see it's not recut any of those squares no. that were cut. No. There's no frayed lines or edges. Yeah, because you usually get a hairline. You get a yeah. hairline, yeah. yeah. If you click it in yeah. and it's a good die, you click it in and tape it well, you won't even get any of those hairlines in it yeah. because it's worked exactly. So okay. all I need to do now is just add a little bit of tape down each side yeah. on this one. So this is a large one, but again, if you notice, even on an A5 mm. piece of card, which yeah. is five and three quarters, there's enough to take normal standard 10 mil tape. I'm just lazy. <laughs> Jared, but yeah, but you know how crafters are. Like, I personally, I'm like you. I don't want to trim my phone tape. No. I don't, it just... It Life's li too short. Life's too short. <coughs> yeah. And uh, of course, they then it gunks up the, the scissors as well, and you don't want that. No. It, it makes a mess of your scissors, it makes a mess of your desk. With me, I put the spare on my top, it leaves a line on there and then it gets washed and I've got a glue line on it all the time. Yeah. I'm forever being told off for finding foam tape in the washing machine at home. Oh. But if you see here, to yeah. lay this one on, because yeah. it's fine, it goes between the two layers of stitching. Yeah. So it fits exactly, so you can see exactly where to put it. You don't have to be, have good eyesight. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not having to yeah. marry it all up. Mm. So there I've gone white into light yellow into ochre back to white. Yeah. And using the, again, because these were going to be here, ah. this is using the rectangle press yeah. cut stitch dot and plain dies that we had on, I think, last month. Yeah. We can then choose a position we want. Do we want full squares oh. showing? But if you see, they yeah. virtually show all the squares. So we just pop our frame on and trim off our excess. Yeah. I'm thinking that, would, that would, is would, done. would work as well as a photo collage. You could, oh, you could. You could put little, you could actually run the die through with your photos and then put your photos yeah. together as a collage piece. And you could then make like into a, like a little heart. So you just put in the photos, creating like a heart. In, you in the could. Heart. 
Oh, I love doing shows with you, Paolo, because you're a crafter. Yeah, we, we need to... I've got a spare, a spare in the car, yeah, but I don't have spares of the dies, I'm afraid, if, if you want to have a go. But, but, but again, all I'm doing, yeah. just to simply finish this off, yeah. this is a standard uh, seven and a half, five and a half inch card Perfect. blank in white, stuck on, and we're done. But I think this is what I think the, these dies are extraordinary uh, because they are the geometric nature means that they are versatile. The fact that they work together means that they are unique. The fact that it has got that stitch detail and it's all very tactile, it means that they are designed by a crafter for crafters to solve issues like lining them up, to create backgrounds easily. I love a couple of samples as well sent in uh, by Ange, I think, by the angel, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> it says Mrs. Mrs. Duck. Mrs. Duck, in which yeah. is, who is Ange, sorry. Uh, sorry. Mrs. Mrs. Duck thinks out of the box. The, the angels are amazing. They're friends and people I've collected over the years, like Leslie, um, Mrs. Duck or Ange, um, Barbara or Babs as we call her, Julie or Jules as she's, you know, we all have our you know, nicknames yeah. at home for them. But they've all got different styles and different ways of looking at things. Um, you know, that is a definite Mrs. Duck, I can tell that without yep. looking on the back. Whereas the one you had before was a Emma Blake, I think. Uh, this going on the colours. Uh, Sheila. Oh, it's Sheila. Sheila, Sheila. yeah. Yes. But, but it, it shows that you can do so much different with them and it will match everyone's style of crafting rather than just the sort of classic pretty that I tend to do. And I and I, it's one of those ones that I kind of keep going back to the dad one because I think this is the kind of dies that you need in your stash to for those occasions whether you want something a little bit more geometric but also creating a lot of different styles. Now, of course, look at that. Look at that gorgeous, isn't it? Right, so uh, we, we have got here, you can see the one day special. Now, you have got the complete collection details on the screen there. You are getting the circles and the squares, so both options of the one day special. If you go for one of the one day specials, you have got a seven pound saving. If you go, if it, that was is for the square ones, for instance, then you can see them there. Now that is is a really decent saving, and it's of course is a very affordable price, at thirty four pounds and ninety seven pence. Then you have got the circles again, the same price, the same saving of seven pounds. But if you are like me and you like both the squares and circles, if you are like John, a true crafter that wants to have the complete collection, to have all those layers to work with, because remember, they are standalone as well as with each other, then you want a complete collection. You want the complete collection because that's what it gives you the most ability to play with. This is what also we have got for the saving of £10. So that would be a £24 saving should you go for the complete collection. However, if you are a Freedom member, you have got a fifth. Uh, and, and 99 pence saving, which means that with those 14 pounds saving that you have got, it's a 30 pounds saving in total. It is an amazing, or 29.99 to be exact. Now, if you want to spread the cost, you can two interest free payments of 26 pounds and 98 pence. Now, that means that you will have the perfect placing, you will have the ability to create something like shall we open the box? Shall we open the box? Shall we open the box? Oh, isn't it amazing? Isn't it? And that side has been cut with a square. Now, of course, and this one, what has done here is oh. you can see June has put inside a picture of the contents of a, a phone with. Now, now, of course, having the squares gives you the first step. There is so much more you can use them as, and you know, die, as, as it stencils as well. This is w what you can do straight out of the box of the um, envelopes, I mean, envelope of that they're posted in. Uh, but you can see in here, look at this, the stitch detail. I just love it even on its own. I love how it layers all together. I love how you can imagine doing a lot of uh, for stitching around with a black marker pen, there is incredibly amount of things you can do with them. And the circles as well. I do love the circles. Now I need to tell you that over the, we are over a third of the stock of the of the complete collection is already gone. If you want yours, if you want 
dyes that allow you to spritz through it. Now, you have got, of course, that the ability to do that with the one day special or the complete collection. 241664 is your item number for the full collection. Now, if you wanted to use uh, some beautiful spritz uh, inks through those uh, dyes, is, of course, the eyes inks. Now, the eyes inks, what they are, uh, they are non clogging, they are pure, dye, well, they are dye inside it. And what they do is they keep the consistency the vibrancy of a dye and of course it means and like John was showing us earlier they dry super fast and that means uh, that you will uh, be able to create even more and quickly so you can spritz your colors and then use it uh, straight away now this is a pick and mix option whatever your favorite five colors you can have them now there is 15 different colors so you can curate your own collection 19 pounds and 95 pence is your price making a saving of five pounds seven eight six three six nine now we have got also the finishing sprays in here which are the glorious metallic sprays you are getting this is not a pick and mix you are getting all three of them the gold the silver and the pearl now they are non-clogging as well they have got a you know beautiful finish in here and you can see there and i like john was there you can shake them perfectly in here and you have got that beautiful finish that you will get for them 438858 is your item number 14 pounds and 99 pence now let's have a oh look at that isn't that gorgeous Yes, I love that one because it showcases the beautiful sparkle from it. Right, if you want some storage from your dyes, we do have got those ones as well from Craft2. Really elegant with that beautiful damask printed onto black. It's a zip along um, case as well. It has got a ring binder inside it with magnetic sheets as well with those pockets. So I have seen it in real life. And I know John carries his uh, all the time and is super strong and durable. And of course, it keeps you all your dice easily found in that case. 17 pounds and 99 pence is your freedom price. If you're not a freedom price, 19 pounds and 99 pence. But really, really, really uh, busy for the card. And I'm not so price card is what we need as paper crafters but we need a good card we need good card in beautiful colors whether you are more of a vibrant person or maybe you like more the muted colors this will work uh, will work perfectly now you are getting f you can choose any four colors that you like uh, and you're gonna get 10 of each 40 sheets in total now this card if I show you you're gonna you can see here the texture of it. It's a fine linen texture in there. Now it has got the core is also the same color. So you will have a card when you die cut it, you won't see a white edge inside it. Also the main is, and also another thing that I need to mention is that of course it will make, you know, if you go for say for instance, three colors like this, with the one day special or with the complete collection will work beautifully that monochrome so you can curate your own collection by choosing whichever four one four uh, you know colors you want to go for now you have got there the details nine six four and nine three eight three is your item number and 40 sheets at 11 pounds and 99 pence makes it a really good value for money and you can create maybe cards like this using the one day special I love that. I love that because it kind of showcases because you can use the waist from the one day special with the bl bl blues in there as well. Maybe a little bit of a cheeky black in there as well to throw for good measure. <laughs> right. Shall we go and see John after this? Let's have a look at what he's doing. <laughs> I love that cheeky black because you need a little bit of cheeky black in your kit. I think it's one of those things we've all got. So what I thought I would do is, I know we're always with dyes, we're always die cutting them, yeah. always layering them up, yeah. we're always doing that. But I think sometimes if we've got the right products and the right tools, there is more that they can do. So what I've actually done is I've cut all three layers in the squares set yeah. and these are just into 300 GSM standard stamping mm. card. So a nice smooth stamping yeah. card, yep. Yeah. Now normally, you know we couldn't use these multiple times as stencils. Yeah. We always talk about, on yeah. shows people always talk about, oh, use the dies as a stencil. And we know that when we spray through them, yeah, so when we actually spray through um, a, a die, yeah. it soaks, the soaks into the card, soaks into that. That's why I'm using the eyes ink sprays because these are fast drying and they okay. don't soak into the card. Mm -hmm. So on there with the circles, I think you've got yeah. some samples of what I've made with the stencils I've sprayed about five or 10 times. Mm -hmm. So they really, really work. So all I'm going to do is, 
I've got a piece of watercolour card here. I've just put it on a plastic tray and I've got my um, stencil that I've made myself and I'm just going to lightly spray through. Wow! Yeah. yeah. Take it off, but that is 90% dry already. Wow. So I can go straight on with the next one and line it up and I'm going to go through with red. I love that. And come off and go on with the smallest one and I'm going to go on with, with Paola's favourite colour which is the petrol. Oh, it's a beautiful... Because I know you love tealy bluey oh, colours there. I so love you. that, yeah. Oh. But, there we go. We've got all three <gasps> colours showing. Yep. Yeah. Straight through. That first one is dry, that red is almost dry, and that teal will take a couple of minutes. Oh, and look at that. Now, if I want that to shine... Uh, yes. I will go over, and again, I don't have to wait for these to, yeah. you know, 100% dry. I can go over just with the finishing spray. Wow. And that will give them a sheen. Yeah. It's, it's just kind of make them a little, you know, uh, well, I guess more vibrant is the word, uh, but I look, I look at... Uh, but I, I don't know how many times you can spray through an, a, a piece of card. So I'm going to yeah. show you the first one. That's now dry. Wow. But that, uh, look, not warped, not moved. Those uh, little fine lines. Yeah. You know, I mean, you and yeah. I will know exactly mm -hmm. what would happen. Yeah. Right, sometimes I see people go, oh, and they'll make great stencils, and I giggle because I think that's really hard with paper because it just doesn't work. <laughs> But again, what we then do with these, you can keep spraying and spraying, or you simply then mount these up. Okay. So this green one's dry again already. I then put the red one over the top. Yeah. I then put the blue oh. over the top. Oh, and I, I love get that. a massive, if you look at that, I love I've that. got a real good two for. Yep. A so I've got a yep. two for one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that I love that, and also because you will have, so you have got the negative and the positive yeah, there. Yeah, so I've got the, the positive sprayed one, Yeah. which I think that just looks as if I've been really arty. I'd have yeah. spent hours being clever with blenders, and I haven't. But yeah. then I've got that. Yeah, and as, as um, I've just heard in my ear, and I think it's Malcolm said, it's like pointillis, pointillism, yeah. which is one of my favourite drawing styles ever. It's that Monet look. Yeah. Yes, all right. Yeah, I kind of. Uh, uh, oh, it's gorgeous. I love that. And I, I'm a massive, massive, uh, massive ma um, fan of a sprays of colours because it kind of adds you that colour, that background. Now, think about your do other dyes that you have got. Think about your scene setting. Think about when you want to mask a little bit of them. And that is just amazing in here. Think about whether your one day is special here like that. Remember, cool. you choose whichever five ones. So if I would recommend to go whichever colours you're your favourite, just go for them. Just go, say, for instance, you like pinks and purples and blues. So then go for, you know, see all of the pinks, get the pinks, get the purples and get the blues. Uh, because that will mean, I mean, look at that. You can spread through a stencil. You can spread s something that maybe has been a stencil. So it acts a, as a relief for the background. There is so many different techniques of being using with them. And what I love about the Isings, and this is everybody who has used them will know it, is the vibrancy of those dyes. Now, not all uh, di uh, the spritzers are made the same way. Um, and the reason is because some of them have been done with uh, other types of products. The quality of the dye inside it means that the vibrancy of those colors, look how beautiful it, they dry. This is one of my favorite colors, that verde. And look at that mustard they color. It's every single color in here is ideal. Now, if you wanted to have the complete collection, well, there are 15 colors, so you just have to enter the details three times and then that would work at 60, uh, 60 pounds yeah so uh, you can see them here look at that now if you want more distressed colors you can do, and of course you have got this is the pearl one and there it was so if you want your eyes for the first time 
then go and for them and choose whichever five your co your colors. I always recommend to go for the yellow as well because that will bring some warmth to it. And sometimes it's the one that we don't ever think about it, but I always would go for it because it's absolutely amazing. You have got there, of course, you have got the uh, regalis, uh, which is a uh, licorice, that black one. Then you have got the cerise, the pinks in there, the rosé, the framboise, uh, raspberry. Uh, then we have got the incre as well, the purple. There's so many, many beautiful colors. I love, can I show you a couple more sample? Now I need have to tell you that there are, have been some sellouts. Okay, so this one that I was tolling, telling you about, let's go. I'm, I'm actually happy that the yellow has been one of the quick ones to live. The encre, the purple one. Now that's limited stock, so if you want the purple, do go for it. As is the murder suit, which is I uh, think is that one. South yeah. Seas in English. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mer ah, murder suit. Yeah. Murder suit, yeah. yeah. We see. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's limited. So if you wanted that one or that one, uh, be sure to check out your baskets right now because that's the only way that you are going to get them. Uh, once they're gone, there is no e more extra stock of them. So please uh, do check out your baskets. Right. Shall we have a look at what uh, John A. has to show us next? Right. So this is a really simple one. Okay. Um, but this is using your spare. So this is actually made using the spare pieces from the circles. And what I've actually it looks like a collection of clouds or a yeah. sky. I mean, it's just really, really arty, but it's really, really I easy love to that. do. Yeah. It is, isn't it? I did this and I thought, I love that. I love but this that. is probably one of the easiest, quickest cards I've done. So I saved a load of pieces from when I cut. So this is only from cutting in white each of the layers. So there's not like me 10 lots of different samples in here. So I'm just going to pile all of them together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And all I'm simply going to do is spritz them with the icing. Oh! Yeah. I'm going to give them a shake. Wow. Spray them with a bit of green. Give them a little bit of a shake. Yeah. And I'm going to spray them with the finishing spray in the silver or the nacre, which is actually mother of pearl. Wow. So give them a spritz of that. Now, they're nearly dry. Move them to one side for a second. All I've done here is take a piece of normal card and I've just sprayed it with one of the blues, either Mer de Sud or Outremer. Oh, and then a little bit of that nacre, that mother of pearl finish on it. Yeah? Yeah. Take your foam tape and run a strip across the middle. Yeah. Run a strip across the bottom, a little bit smaller. Run a strip across the top, a little bit smaller. Yeah. Take off the middle strip and put another piece on the middle there, okay. not all the way, yeah? Yep. And simply then remove your adhesive, your container sheet, carrier, I, I never know what to call this. Yeah, carrier sheet, yeah. film, uh, you and know. And then I bring in my pieces that I've done. These are 90% dry and all I do is start gluing them down. But because we did them in different areas, yeah. Because we've, we, we shook them each time, yeah. they've got different colours on them and different sizes and little areas and some are very dark and Look at the some are really one. light and there's some tiny, you know, tiny little ones and you're just literally building these up. So tucking behind, yeah. I love bringing this. one in. I love um, that. And one of the, my favourite things to do, I mean, you can spend hours on this, you can spend minutes on this. Exactly. But because they've been all been touching each other, yeah. every one is a different colour, every one is a different true. shade. Some areas are missing, some areas have got a lot of colour, some have got absolutely none, or just little bits. Yeah. But just match them round. Yeah and you've got all the different sizes, but it looks like when you've built it up, you've been the cleverest person going. Yeah. And of course you haven't. So I'm just gonna very, very quickly yeah. try and fill this gap in. Okay. There we uh, go, yeah. which I'm not gonna be able to do, but I will try my, try my real, real hardest in the time we've got left, there we go. So you would add a few more on, but again, I'll just put that onto and hold it on. But there you go. Wow. Really quickly and really simply, a little bit of the ultramarine card. Yeah. But there's your clouds. 
That is fabulous. That's and amazing. And what I would do with the pieces left, I would shake those onto a piece of double-sided adhesive and spray them out to make another background. Wow, it's amazing. I love that technique. I, I'm like so in wow with that one. I'm like, I'm going to steal that technique. You can have it with, I, with pleasure, Paula. <laughs> I will always credit you. But then I need to show you this one as well because look at that. It's, this is an amazing card. It's just an... And of course... Now look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look, it's, it's, just, it's glass painting, isn't it? No, it's I think ice. <gasps> I cut the die five times. Spray glued four of them together to create me troughs, put acetate on the back, um, just squeezed in different blobs of colour of Ising Kais, scraped over the top and put a clean one on the top <gasps> and put lights behind it. That is amazing. And then the same dies, the leftovers, you can create a geometric background. Do please go for the complete collection. If you can afford it, then it's an amazing thing that you can gonna have so much to play with. Now, I need to tell you that 40% of the complete collection has already gone. Please do check out your, uh, your of course, uh, you know, just check out your baskets because then it's gonna be absolutely phenomenal. Now, of course, John is gonna be back later at eight and do join them, join him for him, for the, one day special with Alex. I don't know where the words are going. <laughs>